Okay, right. Let's now start work on um, some of these pictures of Trevor's. And uh, the first one is this sort of Moorish type castle that is uh, glowing in some sort of light. And I want it to be a bit like a, a sunrise or a sunset. So I'm going to use plenty of colour, very much wet into wet. I'm going to wet the whole picture first. Clean water, or should have been clean water. And uh, I'm going to make it just a very quick study on all of these. I'm not going into large detailed paintings. They aren't my choice of subject anyway. So um, I'm not going to do large paintings that I could then sell on afterwards. They're just quick demos just to show the effect of light that we can get painting in this sort of way. And um, we'll just try and see if we can make some beautiful paintings with lovely colours just using these effects of light rather than going into too much detail on I'll let that colour come right through get that spread down through some lovely beautiful effects here into the water it reflects down each side we we'll lift out a little bit of white there so very very quickly just to get the effects for you dropping in one colour to another lovely effects down here and as it dries up we'll gradually pull these effects together just let them run one to another to get this Turner-esque effect of light I'm going to play all this wet into wet and there's a lovely sunset. When you're talking about wanting to paint with stronger, more pure colours, this is exactly what I'm showing you then, Trevor, ways you can do that. You can whack in these colours. You can blend gently one into another. These warms and darks really start to glow down here. I'm going to play in the opposite system, the colour circle as well. So I'm playing these blues and greens and against reds and so on. Mixing my colours on the paper. Lovely really pure colours. If you wanted pure colour, now we're, we're finding it. This is what you wanted to see, isn't it? I'm going to play with something darker colours each side of the sun here. So we have it reflecting down, coming into the building a bit, just into the background there. Hopefully this is what you wanted me to do for you. Start making these balustrades here. And we've wanted these lovely deep blues and greens down here, did not you? So we'll start doing those now. You can see the effects of light just really starting now. You get the effect of this Moorish tower against the evening sunlight going down or the morning sunrise, either whichever you prefer, coming up here. Light, strong lights against darks because we're using very bright light, that was the idea. Very deep colours coming down into here. A bit more warm in them as they come forward. We can take out light when we want. I can take a bit of light out down here now. I can take it out coming down the water here. Right, now that we've got the all the light effects done, we can start to come back into it with details if we need to. So I can take warm darks and so on and we can start to pick out bits like this if we want to and I'm only now doing this because um, I'm only really doing this because Trevor has it on his and uh, I thought he might like to just see 
how we can use colour in the same way to get these same effects. We don't have to do every detail in. It's just a matter of picking out what we want. And we can, of course, use um, pastel back into this as well, which I might do in a minute just to show you. We've got some slightly harder edges here. We can bring out these shapes a bit more now if we want to. We're almost there to get that effect of light. Don't need to do too much more. This is just to demonstrate how we can make a painting just by using colours like this. Now, I was just talking about the fact that I didn't leave lights here. I just come in with my darks only. Um, if I want to come back and put some lights in, I can do. And I can do that with pastels, which is something I was showing you just now. I'm just going to demonstrate to you, just to finish off this bit of painting, with the light watercolour. So you can, you can tart up these little, little details here and there, as much as you want to. Don't overdo it, just get the effects of light. Let me get the feeling of these bits of stone at the edges of the building here now. So if I were to take a little bit of very light pastel, make a very light cream for instance, um, I can just come in on the tops of these bits of stone and just catch the light there. If I want to a little bit, it's a little bit wet yet. Just to bring out those highlights, maybe on here. Could have used masking fluid on this, of course, of watercolour to get these light effects first. So, there we are. If you wanted to know about pure colour, maybe I've shown you a little bit here now. an idea of how you could attack this and get this brilliance of light. So, number one, quick demonstration. Now we move on. Put those two together. It's pouring down with the rain outside, can't do that, I'm sorry. We get this uh, quick demonstration done. So we're going to do a little study uh, using the heavy body acrylics and uh, mainly the filbert because the filbert has more control for me in a landscape like this. And I'm going to paint this uh, rather lovely little picture of the lighthouse. So I'm going to start with the sky. I need to work on my mid-tones up everywhere and build over the top. So using most of those techniques that I've just been showing you, I'm going to work this up very quickly. I'm using watercolour paper this time. So very quickly all the mid-tones, right around here. I'm going to finish this painting in a matter of 20 minutes or so, I hope, just to show you how we can use acrylics and keep bright colours. So starting with mid-tones, fairly light mid-tones in this case. I'm going to work the whole of the sky through quickly, as if I was doing a very fast study actually out there. Fixing it on the paper even. And I'm not just going to paint it straight across, I'm going to start painting some of this in the direction of the light to start to get some feeling of perspective into it immediately. Right through here and blending while it's wet little feathered strokes as I showed you earlier. I'm not using um, too much broken colour into this. So you've got to do this while the paint is still wet but you can't really blend. I'm just using little strokes to blend one colour into another here. You see how quickly you can use pure colour. This is magenta, 
got a touch of white, a little wee bit of yellow. She has to scumble up into these clouds carefully. That's the beauty now of the filbert brush. You can touch of water onto it, is that I can use it both fat and thin. And I'm going to put some much deeper tones. These are all light mid-tones. And flicking with the brush to get the feeling of the clouds. Look how fast this way of working is. It's slightly stronger and warmer here. Right up through here. A little bit of water just to blend it now. One colour against another shortly. Put some water on my finger and just blend it here. Put some of these pinks a bit more again. That's the beauty of acrylic. We can come back some falls with it. Like we pick up on these bits of light that are shining through here. If they've got a bit lost, we put them back in again. Pick up on some of these lovely, lovely warm pinks and yellows here. Now, on from the sky, this is not going to be any work until I get the rest in. So let's look at the um, mid tones I want here. I want a uh, pink. I'm going to take some cerulean here and paint that whole lighthouse with cerulean and a little touch of it a little bit thickly. A little touch of purple into it. A little touch of magenta into it. Come across things, don't just um, paint down them. Warmth. We're going to bring out these colours in a minute. At the moment, we just want the, the mid tones to so get them in. Get rid of all of this, uh, these lighter colours, these whites, so that I can just get my tones right. Pure colours, greens, blues. Let's work them against each other. This white is putting you off. It's, it's making you probably think, "What the hell is he doing?" Um, but once I get rid of that, and you can just see pure colour, this will start to make more sense. You can get the tonal values right. Put these darks in next. Mid tones of the rocks. Up through here. Darker mid tones of the rocks. Now quickly we can approach something like this, but I am trying to keep with colour. I'm only painting on paper, so it's only ordinary not watercolour paper that I'm working with. Nothing special. I'm going to try and do most of this painting with just one brush. I can. Put a bit of light there. And a little bit of the very, very light yellow, lemon yellow. To catch the sunlight there. And down. These light, lighter colours are going to come to the cliffs here. And uh, they're still cools, they're still mid tones. I'm building up my mid-tones and getting, getting rid of all the, the whites so that I can see wood for trees a bit. Burnt sienna and uh, ultramarine here to really get some of these lovely slabs of rock so coming up dark behind there. Oh my god. It's not very pure colour back there, it's quite a sort of light grey. So we'll just whip that into there and then we'll come back into that in just a moment. And that's coming through here into these darks a bit as the waves come down right through to there down here and we've got this light beautiful light pink the light colours coming into there light blues and pinks coming through here I'll have to use a lot of texture here in a minute I'm just painting in the underpainting so that I can paint my darker colours on top in a minute. Just start to get some texturing in with the brushes. Just start texturing with the waves as they come over and into here. The turquoise colours that are going to come through here in just a moment. Pure colours very very quickly make your decisions. Put them on. There we go. A little bit of that turquoise coming into the sea back here. Before I put those slightly darker colours in again, a little touch of warmth from the sun there. Just bring some of that in behind here before I uh, start using the sponge. Okay, I'm going to come back with a smaller brush. 
and we can start on our lighter colours with the brush and the sponge. Again, keep nice pure colours down to the deep purple. I'll bring some of that into the, the darks here. I'm only going to indicate this, I haven't got time to mess about it as I've been doing a quick study out of doors, this is how it will be done. Even a touch of touch of orange into there actually. Just down the side of that, catching that lovely sunlight. We'll have that little bit of that going on. Talking about warmth and heavy bodies, let's see if we can get some of those lovely golds that are shining down here. So here now is where we're going to start picking up pure colour and letting that sun glow down here. Real colours. Not pretend colours, real colours, really strong. Make the lights against the darks here. As the sun shines down through behind. Because if you put one colour against something it affects another colour, which is just what's happening here now. You see our picture is well on the way. Now I need to start making up colours for the Sponge next, just need to tidy up this building a little bit. Some of these whites that are just into the or soft colours, soft blue greys that are just into here, into a little cream and very carefully now don't overdo this sponge work. Dip the sponge edge in and we'll start to come back in with these lovely bits of foam that are splashing up and spraying around here. And look how instantly that happens, because we've got all our mid-tones already, you see. All I've got to do is bring those bits of foam out into here, lights and darks, and instantly I've got those waves appearing. A little bit of yellow now into the cream, very, very light. And just dip the sponge into that next to get the lighter sponge effect for the edge of the waves that are coming up here, splashing up through. So now we're doing the light against the mediums. Can drag those down a little bit if you want. Get some of these very light areas just here with a bit heavier paint. So it's really splashing just there. You can see that we've almost got our sea so very quickly to get that slightly darker series of tones into there because it's not just lights, there's some darks in here as well on the phone, like this. We get all these little crisscrosses of light that are coming down and through as the water comes down here. Up through and behind here. So, it just shows you how quickly we can use acrylics to make a painting. Put the yellows into there. Do you get the idea then? I could keep working into it, but what's the point? You, you've, you've just been shown how to keep clear, clean and clear colours going. And that's all that we really wanted to know in this particular painting. Just happening in a bit more of the waves there. Just a little bit of detail we can add, but this is where you can tidy up. And the point is that we start loose and finish tight. That'll do for that little demo then.